another case of a function with two inputs and one output. Now we know that this is a cone because if we square both sides, we find that z squared equals x squared plus y squared. So um, no matter what value of z, we have um, circles, right? Circular cross sections. And when z equals zero, actually those circles come to a point. So we know we're talking. This equation describes a cone that's two-sided. It's got an upper half and a lower half, but the original equation says z, z is the square root. And that's a positive. So the graph of this would be just this cone, but we can also examine this in terms of its level sets. So we just take some values for z. First off is z equals 0, and if we put a 0 here uh, for z, then we find that x squared plus y squared equals 0. If you put 0 here and then square both sides, you get that equation. And if z equals 1, we get x squared plus y squared equals 1 squared. If z equals 2, we get x squared plus y squared equals 2 squared. z equals 3, we get x squared plus y squared equals 3 squared. If z equals 4, we get x squared plus y squared equals 16, and so on. So again, what we get is the higher z gets, then we just keep going out. In this case, unlike the, the elliptic parabola we examined earlier, the, the contour curves are equally spaced. So, so to go from the z equal 2 to the z equal 3 level curve, it's the same distance as if you go from the, the z equal 3 to the z equal 4. These gaps are always the same. That means that this, this, it's not getting steeper, which squares with our intuition for the sides of the cone. Now I should label these z equals 0, z equal 1, z equal 2, z equal 3, z equal 4, and so on, so that someone comes along and they can look at it. Let's just do this. Um, in maple too so we can get a better view of those curves so <clears throat> this time we always had the implicit function was always x squared plus y squared okay and we had we had zero and we had one and we had two let's see we had four and we had nine and we had sixteen we need to make our range go we want to see all of these curves. We want to make our range go from negative 4 to 4. So I'll just change all these ranges really quickly. 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, oops, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4. Just so I can contain a circle of radius 4 in a, in my, in a box here. Okay, and we get all of those curves. Notice they're all equally spaced, like we said. So there's the z equals 0 level set is that single point. And then z equals 1 is, is a circle of radius 1. When z equals 2, the level set is a circle of radius 2, and so on. So it just keeps coming up and out. The equal spacing between the contour lines means it's not getting steeper as we go. That, that's saying the same steepness. Okay. Here's another one. Let's look at the, the level curves of this. Now we can see that if we square both sides, we actually have z squared equals x squared plus y squared minus 1, or z squared plus 1 equals x squared plus y squared. I notice that no matter what choice I make for z, I'm going to have some kind of ellipse. Well, actually a circle in this case is kind of, kind of special, it's a nice symmetry there they're going to have an ellipse. So this is going to be a hyperboloid of one sheet. So as, I, as z gets close to zero, the, the circular cross sections are going to narrow in, um, but they're not going to close off. So we have a hyperboloid of one sheet in this graph. What we could do is look at some of our level sets. Oh, actually, um, after I square it, we get the full hyperboloid. Here, we only get the upper half of the hyperboloid, the part where z is above zero, so we actually don't have that in our surface. But what we want to look at are level curves. So if we slice with z equals zero, or we slice with z equals one, or we slice with z equals two, what are our level curves? Let's just do a few, z equals zero, z equals one, z equals two, z equals three, let's go to z equals four. Um, this equation, if you square both sides, it's easier to work with. So let's work with this equation, just substitute our value of z in. 
If we put z equals 0 into this equation, we get x squared plus y squared equals 1. If we put z equals 1, then, then z squared is 1, 1 plus 1 is 2. So we have x squared plus y squared equals 2. That's a circle of radius um, root 2. If z equals 2, 2 squared is 4, 4 plus 1 is 5, so we get a circle of radius root 5. Uh, if we put in 3, 3 squared is 9 plus 1 is 10, so we get a circle of radius root 10. And finally, when z is 4, x squared plus y squared equals, let's see, 16 plus 1 is 17, so we have a circle of radius square root of 17. So again, on this surface, we see um, we see um, circular level sets. Let's see, when z equals 0, we've got set, the radius is 1, and then when z equals 1, then the radius was square root of 2, which is about 1.4. Then we went to the square root of 5, which is more than 2. So one thing you'll notice is that the contour lines are actually getting spread further apart the higher I go, so it's becoming um, less and less steep, though it is approaching a limiting value. Let's see, I did square root of 5. Square root of 10 is going to be a little more than 3, so a little bit further out here. And the square root of 17, that's going to be the radius of the last circle here, is going to be a little bit more than 4. Now to get a nicer picture, we could graph this in Maple again. Let me just, um, let's see, first we got a 1, then we got 2, then 5, then 10, then 17. Okay, 2, 5, 10, and 17. And let's see, since the square root of 17 is more than 4, I better run this out a little bit further so that I could contain a circle with radius slightly more than 4. So change these values for my x and y ranges. Okay, and plot those. Now it's a little bit easier to see what we were saying, um, that initially so this is it's not very far to go from level 0 to level 2, but then it's a little bit farther to go to level 3, and a little bit farther to go to level 4, and maybe just a skosh farther to go to level, let's see, this was level 3, I think this is level 4. So, uh, oh, this was level 0, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. The spacing is getting a little bit larger, although you can, you can start, it's harder and harder to see the difference between the two because it's approaching the limiting values there. So we've got our level sets on this curve. Uh, let's do one more. This one is again a function with two inputs and two outputs. Um, what shape is it? Well, if we square both sides, we get z squared equals 16 minus x squared minus y squared. Or if I add those to over here to the other to the left hand side, we get x squared plus y squared plus z squared equals 16. That's the sphere of radius 4. So we know that our shape is a sphere of radius 4, yeah. but we want to look at the level sets, which pretty clear that those level sets are going to be circles. Let's just try a few levels. z equals 0, z equals 1, z equals 2, z equals 3, and z equals 4. And z equals 0, we have x squared plus y squared equals 16. Okay, so circle of radius 4. Um, when z equals 1, x squared plus y squared equals 15. So circle of radius is just a little less than 4, square root of 15. x squared plus y squared, let's see, if, if uh, z is 2, 2 squared is 4, 16 take away 4 is 12. If z is 3, x squared plus y squared plus 9 equals 16. 16 minus 9 is 7, so circle of radius 7. See the, the radii are getting slowly smaller as we climb up the ellipsoid, huh? x squared plus y squared plus 16, since 4 squared is 16, take 16 away from 16, and you have x squared plus y squared plus 0. We're down to a single point. So our level sets are, again, circles. But we start off with a circle of radius 4. So that's, that's for z equals 0. That's our z equals 0 curve. And then we get a circle of radius um, slightly less than 4, 
those curves are actually pretty close together, so that's the z equal 1 level set. z equal 2, we have the square root of 12, which is between 3 and 4. So a little more spacing between the curve as we come in. And then um, square root of 7 is a little less than 3, so we have a circle like that. And then finally we have this. So here we see as we climb, this was the z equals 0, then the z equals 1, the z equals 2, the z equals 3, and finally the z equals 4 was the point at the top of the sphere. So you can also look at those level curves in maple. So we got first a uh, circle of rate 16 here, and then, then we had 15, 12, 7, and 0. 15, 12, 15, 12, 7, and 0. Look at our level curves. Yeah, so we can see um, when you're on, when you're near the edge of that hemisphere, then it's very steep. So this contour line is very close, but then the next contour line, you go further to to increase by one. You go further to increase by one, and you go further to increase by one. There's a single dot in the center that's really hard to see, as maple doesn't make it very big. Good, but we got it graphed.